cryptocurrency enthusiast. This is a day that we will forever remember in our crypto journey. One thing I want to say here at the beginning of this video is, first off, thank you. I started my crypto journey here on YouTube in May. I started really getting into crypto early 2020. Of course, that was a great time to get into crypto. I've always dabbled in it. I had a little bit back in 2019, but um, sold it way too soon because I didn't know what I was doing. But here I am. Uh, I started this back in May talking about crypto and flash forward, and this has been an unbelievable ride so far. Of course, we're just getting started. Um, thank you so much. I can't believe still that I'm up over 17,000 subscribers. I have no idea how, and um, I just thank you all so much for the support. I'm trying my best to learn as much as I can and report the information. I look at myself as a news anchor. For those of you who don't know me, um, I have you know some broadcasting experience in sports, but i um, also super passionate about investing in crypto, and it's brought me to this day. And this day for crypto is going to be one in the history books. This is one that we will remember for a very, very long time. I've got a feeling we're going to look back five years from now. We're going to look back 10 years from now and 20 years from now and go back to September 7th, 2021, when El Salvador was the trailblazing country that set Bitcoin to new all-time highs and to set it on fire. And I think that is exactly what we're going to find here. Now, this is interesting here. El Salvador bought 21 million of Bitcoin as it becomes the first country to make it a legal currency. We're also getting news out of El Salvador that they bought over uh, 400 Bitcoin. That's with the equivalent of 20.9 million one day before it formally adopts the world's most popular cryptocurrency as its legal tender. Now, one thing I want to mention here, people can still use USD, but they can also use Bitcoin. So they have the option. It's not just all Bitcoin. The announcement came as El Salvador's Bitcoin law, which was passed in June, took effect today. El Salvador has launched a wallet app called Chivo, which citizens can sign up to with a national ID in order to transact using Bitcoin. Everybody in El Salvador is going to be gifted, I believe it's roughly around $25 to $30 worth of Bitcoin to start their crypto journey. Our brokers will be buying a lot more as the deadline approaches. Uh, in a series of tweets Monday, President Bukele revealed that the country had purchased a total of 400 Bitcoin, the first step uh, in a larger push to add the digital currency to its balance sheet. The tweets were posted a few hours apart. Based on the Bitcoin price at the time of his tweets, the amount of the digital coin purchased totaled essentially $21 million. Uh, So here's the tweet from uh, President Bukele there in El Salvador. Nearly 70%, though, of Salvadorians surveyed by the Central American University disagreed with the administration's decision to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. Many were also unsure of how to use the digital currency. Now, this is going to be interesting to watch because, sure, having the technology is fantastic, but if citizens don't believe in it and they don't know how to use it, right, we can run into some issues. It's like somebody having technology, right, being able to use a smartphone or being able to use a laptop, but not knowing really how to surf the internet, not knowing how to navigate the internet and its space, right? We see this all the time with uh, third world countries and countries that are still being developed. Uh, a lot of people getting and adopting new technology, but they don't know how to use it, right? There's a huge learning curve there. So I think over time, more um, people in El Salvador will uh, see the benefits of Bitcoin. And I think and hope that um, the government will do a really good job at informing them as to why they made these decisions why they made these decisions, and how it's going to benefit their country. So I think this number could be a little bit high. I did have some people from El Salvador comment last time I mentioned this stat, uh, and they said, hey, you know, that, that, that's kind of convoluted. Um, there's a lot of people really excited, so that's great to see. And I, and I think that could be the case, and who knows who was actually surveyed here, right? Which, you know, you don't know, right? There, there's a lot. St st statistics can be skewed, okay? Okay. Um, now, the legislation allows prices to be displayed in Bitcoin, tax contributions to be paid with digital currency, and exchanges in Bitcoin will not be subject to capital gains tax. This is huge. There's no capital gains tax on Bitcoin. So, now listen, uh, people in El Salvador, they can just acquire Bitcoin and not use it. Continue to use USD and then acquire Bitcoin and keep it, right? Um, that is an option. They don't have to uh, spend it. Uh, many people don't spend their Bitcoin, right? They use it as a... Uh, reserve currency, 
So it'll be interesting to see kind of how that plays out. Um, so last Tuesday, the Congress in El Salvador passed a law to create a $150 million fund to help facilitate conversations, or I'm sorry, conversions from Bitcoin to U.S. dollar. Uh, but Bitcoin is known for wild volatility at times, raising concerns about its effectiveness as a currency. However, I do think Bitcoin will become more stable here over time. Uh, I talked about this in a video yesterday. Are we done with the big crypto winters where we see the massive crashes? Let me know your thoughts down below. That is an interesting question. Um, and, you know, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index showing that we're getting a correction right now, which you can see here in the markets, makes perfect sense. This is a healthy correction. Bitcoin not really falling too much, still at 51K, by the way. All right, so, so here, here we go. Uh, if we scroll down here, Bitcoin isn't really designed to be a means of exchange. So this is an early experiment for the currency. Philip Gradwell, chief economist at data platform Chain Analysis, told CNBC's Capital Connection. This is interesting, and I agree uh, with Philip's assessment here. You know, people, uh, companies like Tesla, you know, they said, hey, you can buy your Tesla with Bitcoin. How many people actually did that? I think I saw one YouTuber who did. Um, and, you know, she actually did a nice job with it because she sold right at the top at like 63K. Uh, probably bought back into Bitcoin after she got her Tesla, but not a lot of people are using it to transact. Right, people are using Dogecoin to transact, but not so much with Bitcoin. Okay, so this will be interesting to watch, kind of how this all plays out. Um, remittances, uh, this is another big piece, or the money sent home by migrants is also important for the economy, accounting for more than 24% of El Salvador's gross domestic product, according to the World Bank. Um, so, wow, what a huge, huge day uh, here for El Salvador as they make Bitcoin its legal tender. And how cool is this? If you go to Google, check this out. Um, this is so neat. Um, let's see here. El Salvador currency. I believe it's already been updated. And I got my coffee here. Mm-hmm. There you go, right there. Bitcoin and United States dollar there, El Salvador. How cool is that, right? It shows you right there that those are their two currencies. Now, here's the big question that I want to leave you with. Do you believe that El Salvador will uh, be a touch point or a starting point for other countries to look at adding Bitcoin? I do think that'll be the case. For instance, countries like uh, Venezuela and Honduras have already started entertaining the idea. Now, I do think a lot of countries are going to kind of wait to see how this plays out in El Salvador, but credit to El Salvador and uh, President uh, Zukeli there, or Bukele there, for taking a chance, taking a risk. And this risk, I think, will pay off in the end. I think there's going to be some growing pains, of course, at first. But in the end, I think this is going to be huge for El Salvador, and I think it will lead to more countries adopting Bitcoin as an option, as a legal tender option uh, for their citizens, and I think it's fantastic to see. So let me know your thoughts down below, how you're feeling about Bitcoin here on Bitcoin Day. Wow, uh, this is big for the entire crypto space. Excited to see where it goes, and um, I'll see you in the next video.